characters in the State Theatre's production are the very talented and rather dreamy <laughs> Luke Clayson oh, and wow. um, <laughs> um, both just happen to be sitting with me today. Um, gentlemen, I know you're busy with final rehearsals at the moment, but thank you for joining me. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Firstly, would you mind uh, describing the story of your characters in further detail for us? Well, Tim uh, is uh, from Melbourne, so he's a Victorian boy, and uh, he meets John in about year nine or year ten at high school, they're about fifteen. Xavier College in yes, Melbourne. Yes, that's right. And then uh, they start their relationship then, which lasts all the way through uh, and into just before they go to uni, a little bit of a hiccup, and then he, Tim, heads off to NIDA, so he moves up to Sydney and goes to drama school there, uh, at which some point during then, they get back together, yeah, and uh, pretty much through thick and thin, stay together till uh, till the end. A lot of thick and thin. Hmm. And they, they both obviously um, get quite sick towards the end. Both of them contract HIV, and uh, eventually both die of AIDS. And John yeah. died in ninety two, and Tim died in ninety four. Most people would be more familiar with the novel, mm. um, as the play is relatively recent. Yeah. Um, how does the play differ from the novel? Um, a, a, a great deal. I mean, it's hard to condense. It would be very hard, I would imagine, to condense the novel into uh, remaining completely faithful to it. Um, but I think what Tommy Murphy, as the playwright, um, has done really, really well is bring out this theatricality and condensed and solidif solidified what's really important about the story and what, what, we, what we really respond to in terms of the characters and stuff, mm -hmm. um, which is so because Tim was an actor um, and the play has these wonderful moments of really exploring that and you know acknowledging like that we're in a theatre and this um, and this is this really happened but in a very I think it's a very beautiful and very delicately done. I understand that this is an especially important production for the director uh, Rosalba yeah, Clemente, Clemente. Yeah. Um, as she studied with Tim Clemente. Yeah. And um, so, what stories was she able to share with you about the, the night author? Any? <laughs> little, little bits. She, she was very, um, very honest and very open when we first started about us interpreting uh, what we've read um, and not trying to replicate uh, somebody else's personality. Um, because I think she kind of just said that um, I only saw one side of him. I didn't see the side that Tim saw. Um, that's for you to kind of create. And the, the book has been a big source of inspiration for that, for me, and as, w as well as the play, obviously. But, um, you know, just little, little things about what they were like. Charisma. Charisma. Uh, you know, how they react in certain situations yeah. to certain people. Tim being very kind of political and assertive, and John being very shy and reserved, reserved a lot of the time. Um, and the, and, but those, those little. Nothing that anybody said, because I've, I've talking to, spoken to a few people who have met John and Tim, nothing that they've said has been surprising because it's so, so ingrained in, in, in the book and the, in the play as well. So. And how has she injected her personal style of direction? I hear that they're puppets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Puppets are actually in the play, yeah. so they, they are, they're in it, whoever's going to do it. But um, uh, Rosalba has a really lovely way of being intellectually connected to the emotion yeah. of what's happening, if that makes sense. Okay. So what's happening on the page is quite an intellectual process to decipher what's actually going on in a scene and then filling that with the right amount of pathos yeah. or, or emotion. And yeah. that's what she's good at. She marries yeah. the brain with the heart and then you get intelligent theatre and you get something that's very <laughs> deeply felt. So, yeah. so the play is ultimately the depiction of the same-sex relationship yeah. between uh, two men. Uh, in what ways did you prepare yourselves to the emotion and tenderness needed to make your relationship seem real on stage? Well, <laughs> um, no method acting. No, no, no uh, method <laughs> acting. <laughs> but, I, I mean, I guess it's not that different really to do to, to any other role. I mean, you approach it, every role has, is and has done and does things that you know, perhaps are or aren't a part of what you do in your own life. So you, you, you jump in, we, Nick did, I keep saying we, Nick, Nick did a lot of um, at research into the illness, which I think was probably a little more important that we capture the truth of that because yeah. that's a harder thing to portray yeah. mm -hmm. and have people believe because they do get quite sick towards the end. Um, and 
Yeah, I mean, for me, it's just a matter of, you know, taking what's on the page and going with it. We'll know each other better afterwards. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, that, uh, the history as well was really important in terms of kind of sinking into that because um, AIDS and HIV at the moment is very different to when it was when um, Tim and John were alive. It's no and longer the, the silent drug. No, 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 it's not at all. And different, different types of drugs are much harsher because mm -hmm. it was something that nobody had ever seen before. Yeah. So a lot of experimenting with different, with different drugs. Um, which aren't always nice. Uh, so that was really interesting. And also because the, the play is such an important piece of gay li uh, the, the book is such an important piece of gay literature, I think it's important to understand that context of what it means in that environment yeah, and, sure. and for that community. I just think there's a, not to be too heavy handed with it, but um, there's a particular responsibility for me, I think, um, to be accurate and know, know what's happening. He, of course, was a great advocate uh, for social and political change for gay and lesbian rights, mm -hmm. um, as well as uh, providing AIDS awareness in Australia, and these are obviously still pertinent sentiments. Um, but now in an era where we face the debate of gay marriage, um, how much do you think this play has the power to influence those who still harbour prejudices or those who may be struggling with their sexuality? Uh, well, look, if, if, you know, for either of those two, types of people are to come and see the play, there's definitely stuff in there that everybody can can take from it, you know, and, and when you bring a play like this, it's going to be confronting for a lot of people, and they're either going to take it on board or they're not, and I think it's just nice that there's an option there for someone who wants to invest, you know, some time and understanding into something that's, or a world that's not where they're from, uh, it's there and available for three weeks. We should, we, should, we should also say it's very funny. It is. Somebody said, oh, so it's, it's pretty intense, isn't it? Or, oh, yeah, no, it is, but it's really funny. Yeah, it's like those drag queens. You'll both be attending the red carpet. Yes, we'll do that thing. Great. I need a few drink. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.